Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Gamer Muscle YouTube channel. In this video we're taking a side by side look between the Thrustmaster T300 force feedback wheel and the Thrustmaster TSPC Racer force feedback wheel. In order to put these wheels in a side by side comparison what we've done is loaded each wheel into race room racing experience with the exact same window settings as well as the exact same game settings. Now we've picked Race Room Racing Experience for this because the simulator gives back a nice strong direct force feedback signal and it also happens to be a very easy simulator when it comes to having multiple devices installed and ready to switch between them. To give those of you an idea that are concerned about the sound of each wheelbase, we've placed a microphone right next to the wheelbase vents. Unfortunately, this doesn't give you a complete true to real world sound profile of each wheel because the vent is pushing out wind and the microphone is picking up some of that wind. So in some regards, the sound will actually be quieter than what you hear in this video, especially so in the case of the Thrustmaster TSPC Racer, which has far more powerful fans inside of it. As you can see, we've begun the test with the Thrustmaster T300 wheel. One thing you'll notice with the audio and having the microphone close to the wheelbase is that you can actually audibly hear some aspects of the cogging of each wheel's motor. Of particular note is that the Thrustmaster T300 has slightly less cogging than the Thrustmaster TSPC Racer. You'll also notice with the T300 that the fan only kicks on once the wheel starts warming up. And one of the problems with the T300 over the TSPC Racer is that if you run the wheel at 100% in the profiler and with high force feedback in a game that tends to have high force feedback cars, the wheel will eventually start overheating and cut down to half strength, which can be slightly off-putting whilst you're in the middle of a race. Moving over to the Thrustmaster TSPC Racer, you can see when the car goes into a full self-corrective slide that its rotational speed is indeed slightly faster than the T300 and also slightly more punchy and precise. Unfortunately, video is of course a very poor way of showing off and describing feel and force feedback. And I say unfortunately because the main thing with the TSPC Racer that stands out from the T300 is that it's around about 30 or so percent stronger than the T300 and also slightly more punchy and precise in its delivery of that stronger force feedback. Possibly the most crucial aspect of the TSPC Racer over the T300 though is that you can have the force feedback at 100% in the Thrustmaster Profiler and then run it with cars or games that have strong force feedback and the wheel won't cut down to its lower strength and is far less prone to overheating with me never having it overheat myself despite using this wheel for many many hours on end. Maybe a downside of this is that the TSPC Racer has much more aggressive cooling with it having a slightly larger fan on the rear and I also believe it has a fan mounted to the motor itself which stays on the moment you start using the wheel whereas the T300 will only turn that fan on once it starts to warm up. Outside of the force feedback delivery strength and rotational speed, one aspect of the TSPC Racer is that it does have slightly more cogging than the T300. I believe for alien sim racers this cogging might get in the way slightly though it's nowhere near as bad or as problematic as what was found with the previous Thrustmaster wheel the T500 which not only had worse cogging than the TSPC racer but also had quite severe dampening and though the TSPC racer does have more dampening than the T300 it's nowhere near as bad as the T500. So in conclusion when looking at both wheels side by side with the same type of rim it really is a case that the TSPC Racer is simply stronger, slightly more precise and marginally more faster in rotational speed. The biggest advantage I'd say being that it doesn't overheat if you do run it at higher force feedback settings. From a basic usability standpoint the T300 is more than good enough and certainly represents the best value for money. Which is especially the case when you consider that the T300 not only works with PC but can also work with either an Xbox or a PlayStation depending on which variant of the T300 you get. Another advantage of the T300 is that it also comes with some fairly tacky but usable pedals. Whereas the TSPC Racer you just get the base and the formula rim. It is worth saying though that the formula rim that you do get with the TSPC Racer though minimal is really nice and probably the best formula rim that Thrustmaster do at this point in time. 
In my opinion, if strong force feedback is not your main requirement and you just want a rugged, reliable and precise input device, the T300 is a good wheel to go for. On the other hand, if maybe you came from a wheel like the T500 and you just want that extra strength and know you're never going to be playing on a games console, the TSPC Racer might be the right wheelbase for you. If this video has toppled you over into a state of impulse buying and you're thinking of getting one of these wheels, please use our Amazon affiliate links underneath the video in the video description. If you'd like to see more content like this, let us know in the comments section and also feel free to click the subscribe button as well as click that little likey button in the corner. Until tomorrow's video, thank you very much for watching and goodbye everybody.